Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about phase comparison monopole striking radar. So, in the concept of monopole striking radar, this is the second type. First type is amplitude comparison monopole striking radar. In the amplitude comparison monopole striking radar, also we have seen two types of uh, radar systems. So one is one coordinate system with uh, uh, one coordinate system that is either azimuthal or elevational angle but whereas another thing is amplitude comparison monopole striking radar with two coordinate system so that is used for the measurement of the tracking of uh, uh, target in both the coordinates like azimuthal and as well as elevational now another type of monopole striking radar which uses a single pulse from two different antennas by comparing the phases of the received signals this is phase comparison monopole striking radar. So, <coughs> phase comparison monopole striking radar in this concept also we are using a single pulse, a single pulse is used to track the target. Single pulse is used to track the target from two separate antennas. Okay, this is the main concept we have to understand. In the previous amplitude comparison monopole striking radar, we have used a single plate with two feeds or single plate with four feeds depending upon one coordinate or two coordinate systems. But whereas in the phase comparison radar, we are using two separate antennas and which is used for the single pulse transmission. So one antenna, antenna number one, see this figure, antenna number one is used to transmit one pulse and antenna number two is also used to transmit another pulse. So two separate single pulses are being transmitted with the help of these two antennas. And remember these two antennas are separated by a distance D these two antennas are separated by a distance d okay so this antenna is used to transmit one pulse and again this is also used to transmit one pulse another thing is the two antennas the two antennas wave front should be same that is, that is, they should focus, they should focus in one direction. Okay, you might have learned what do you mean by wavefront from the antenna subject. So, wavefront is nothing but the wave that is, the wavefront shows the direction of the wave that is being transmitted from the antenna. So, in this concept, the target is located at this particular point. So, as the target is located here, both the antennas must be focusing on the same target. So, here, this, this antenna is used to transmit the waveform in the same direction and as well as this antenna is used to transmit in the same direction. So, both are transmitting in the same direction. So, assume the target is located at a distance of R1 from the first antenna and at a distance of R2 from the second antenna and R is the distance from the center of these two <coughs> and theta is the angle made by the target from the normal of these two antennas. Okay, normal is nothing but uh, if, you are trans if you are taking a 90 degrees line from these two, then the angle made by this uh, target from the center of these two antennas is nothing but theta okay now what we need to do is we will calculate we will calculate first the distances between target and radar antennas antennas 1 and 2 okay so first we need to calculate how much is the distance between target and the radar system 1 and the radar system antenna 1 and antenna 2 
okay that means what we need to calculate we are going to calculate the values of r1 and r2 we are going to calculate the values of r1 and r2 okay so in order to understand for us in order to understand we need to go some trigonometrical calculations uh, like uh, what is the value of r1 what is the value of r2 we can get th then once the values are obtained then we can calculate the phase difference because we are calculating the phases of the received signals we are calculating the what should be the phase difference between these two antennas if the phase difference is equal to zero then we can make this target is inclined with the direction of our focus that means the center of these two antennas must be in the same direction in which the target is located that means what do you mean by that i should make theta equal to zero hope you understand the center of these two the center line of these two antennas this one must be in the same direction with the target okay that means this axis this axis must incline with this axis this is the angle i should make it to zero so always i should make theta is equal to zero such that the target is in our vicinity of the radar system that is the main focus one okay so the phase difference we can calculate phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference we know this already so the phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference now we need to calculate what is the path difference between these two path difference is nothing but distance from antenna 1 minus distance from antenna 2 nothing but r1 minus r2 r1 minus r2 so 2 pi by lambda into r1 minus r2 is nothing but phase difference between these two delta pi this is the final equation what we need to calculate okay now let us see how to calculate this r1 and r2 from this circuit from this uh, diagram see here r1 is we need to calculate now r1 so to find r1 okay so r1 what do you mean by r1 r1 is the distance from target to the antenna number one okay from here to here now take this triangle i will take red pen okay take this triangle from here this entire line up to this target and again this one up to this line okay i am drawing it separately here okay so what is this one this is r1 and this is r and the angle made by this one is theta and this is what is the distance from here to here the entire distance from this point to this point is d so up to half it is d by 2 okay so now draw a vertical line like this that means it should be 90 degrees it should be 90 degrees okay and now what about this theta this is angle this angle is theta this angle and this angle these two are equal when we are drawing a line now what should be the value of this line from here to here so as we are drawing a straight line from this one at 90 degrees this line is equal to this line these two are equal okay but what is the amount of value we have left r1 minus r so the r1 is more here compared to r r1 is higher value so this value is r1 minus r so how can you write sin theta so sin theta is equal to we have to write sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to opposite value r1 minus r by here it is d by 2 
So R1 minus R is equal to D by 2 sin theta. R1 is equal to R plus D by 2 sin theta. So this is the way to calculate the value of R1. Next, to find R2. To find R2. So how to calculate R2? Consider the same triangle in the opposite direction. See here, consider this R, path R and this one D by 2 and this path R2. Draw the same triangle. Okay, now it is R2, it is R and here now this angle is theta. Now extend this line and draw a 90 degrees line like this. It is 90 degrees. Okay, and this angle is theta. extend this line then what is the distance from here to here it is r minus r2 in this case r is greater than r2 r is greater than r2 that's why it is r minus r2 <clears throat> now what is sin theta in the similar way write the expression for sin theta so sin theta is equal to what is the opposite value theta? R minus R2. R minus R2 divided by and it is here D by 2. This value is common D by 2. So R minus R2 is equal to D by 2 sin theta. So what do we need? R2. R2 is equal to R minus D by 2 sin theta. Okay, so now we have got what is R1 and what is R2. So using this equation, take this equation as 1 and take this equation as 2. So now we have got what is the path from, uh, what is the value of R1 and R2. Using them, I told you already. So R1 is equal to R plus d by 2 sin theta r2 is equal to r minus d by 2 sin theta now what is the formula path the phase difference so phase difference phase difference delta phi is equal to 2 pi by lambda 2 pi by lambda into path difference path difference path difference 2 pi by lambda into r1 minus r2 so that is equal to 2 pi by lambda into r1 minus r2 r plus d by 2 sin theta minus r minus minus plus d by 2 sin theta so r r gets cancelled so d by 2 plus d by 2 it is d so 2 pi by lambda into d sin theta this is delta phi okay so in order to track what should be the angle of theta theta should be 0 in order to track theta should be 0 so when theta is equal to 0 the center of these two antennas is inclined with the target axis okay so to track the object to track the target theta should be 0 ok that means the phase difference should be 0 theta is equal to 0 means sin 0 0 the entire phase difference should be 0 that means that is delta phi is equal to 0 then the target axis is inclined with the center of these two antennas. The target axis is inclined with 
center of two antennas okay now the angular error in the previous case i have calculated the angular error like azimuthal angular and elevation angle but here we are calculating the phase difference there the angular errors should be zero always we are trying to make the angular error zero uh, depending upon the movement of the target so every time we are keep on changing the angle of antenna here also we are changing the angles of antenna but the condition is we are focusing towards the phase instead of angles so so that we are trying to make the angular uh, uh, phase difference is zero so always the target uh, axis is inclined with the center of these two antennas so that we the plate uh, will be rotating like that okay so this is the way of phase comparison how it is going to track the object thank you